All right then gang, so we're nearly there. We've nearly finished the game, but there are one or two more things that we need to do. And the first one of those is detecting when the game should be ended. So right now I've guessed correctly right here. And at this moment, the game should end, but it allows me to still carry on and put a guess in the next row. So it's still listening for that key up event. And really, once we've guessed the correct answer, we need to detach that event listener so we don't then fill in the next row or even listen for that key up event. And the other condition of the game ending is if we've ran out of guesses. So right now I've used up all six guesses. And if I start typing, we can still see that up here, we're still tracking the current guess and we shouldn't be doing that either. We should detach the event listener once the user runs out of guesses. There's no need to listen for any more guesses. So we need to handle those two scenarios in this lesson. First, when the user guesses correctly, and then secondly, when the user runs out of turns. And in both of those cases, we need to detach that key up event listener. So then we're going to listen for this kind of game ending in the use effect hook inside the Wordle component. Now at the minute we have two use effect hooks. This one right here, which runs to attach the key up event listener to the window object. And then it returns a cleanup function where we detach it. And we want to do the same thing when either is correct is true once we've guessed correctly or when the user has run out of turn. So when this is greater than five. Now, the other use effect right here, that's just logging out some guesses, the turn, etc. Every guess we have, we no longer need that. It's not part of the game functionality, so we can delete it. So what we really need to do now is down here, we need to check if is correct is true. So what I'm going to do is say if is correct. And then if it is, this is one condition of the game ending. Now, how do we know that this function is even going to run when this turns to true? Well, we're going to add it as a dependency is correct. So now when this changes from false to true, it's going to trigger this function to run. And at that point we check, look, is is correct true? And if it is, then we want to detach the event listener. So I can just remove it. I can grab this and remove it like so. Okay. And also what I'm going to do is log a message to the console so we can see that that's happened. And we'll just say something like, congrats, you win. All right. So now when the user wins the game and this turns to true, then we're detaching that event listener so they can no longer add in any more letters to the next row. And we're not tracking that key up event anymore. I remember this turns to true inside the use Wordle hook. We do that down here somewhere under add new guess where we say, look, is the current guess equal to the solution? And if it is, it's a match. We set is correct to be true. Okay. So that's the first condition. The second condition is going to be when the turns is over five because we're only allowed six turns, right? And if when the turns is over five, it means we've already had six turns. So if this is over five, then we want to do the same thing. We want to grab this and paste it right here. And let's also do another console log right here as well to say something like unlucky out of guesses. All right, and we also need to add the turn as a dependency. So it fires this use effect function when the turn changes. Okay, so that is pretty much it. So now we can save this and try it out in the browser. All right, so I'm just gonna refresh over here and we can see the solution is bling. So let me try bling. We get this correct and then if I try to type in more letters, now it's not working and we can see over here, congrats, you win. And it logs out a bunch of times because that use effect fires a bunch of times when different dependencies change. That doesn't really matter. The point is now we've detached that event listener in this case scenario so we can no longer keep on guessing. All right, so that's the first one that's worked. The second one is if we type in too many guesses. So I'm just gonna type in a load of junk here. It doesn't really matter what the words are. I just wanna get to the end point so we can test out that we can't actually listen for any more key up events. All right, so now we've run out of guesses and we can see over here now, unlucky, ran out of guesses. And if I try to type any more, Look up here, it's not tracking the current guess anymore. So we've detached it. We've only allowed this amount of guesses, which is awesome. So that in effect has ended the game. But if the user didn't have the console open, then 
they wouldn't really get any feedback. So what I'd like to do now is create some kind of modal that pops up in either of these two scenarios, either when we've won and we see a modal saying well done, or when we've run out of guesses and we see a modal saying unlucky. And we're gonna do that in the next lesson.